let's get into uh, what I think a lot of people want to hear about, which is sort of the, the current, your, your views on the current state of the hobby and the future of the hobby. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the current state of the hobby in terms of the past two years. They've been, things have gone totally bonkers. You've addressed how you're responding to them from a business perspective in terms of your your wax and opening up a store in Cooperstown with tops, that sort of thing. But, you know, talk about the last couple of years, uh, your, your views, your perspectives on it. Obviously you said earlier, you were not expecting this to happen. You know, you would have said, I lost my mind if I said to you three years ago that this was going to happen. But now that it has happened, what are your thoughts just generally? And then we'll get into the whole, uh, fanatics thing. Well, they, they're kind of tied together because, uh, as I, I, I recall um, in March of 2020, and we're all working from home. And I, I can almost recall the moment that our Tuesday sales numbers came through and it didn't, it didn't make a lot of sense. I thought there was an error. And no, it was just a, a big influx of different people. You know, 30% of them had never ordered from us before. It was really strange. The first thing that kicks in my head is fraud. Maybe some kind of mass credit card fraud because these things are happening. But it wasn't fraud. And then Wednesday, we saw the same trend. And Thursday, we saw the same trend. And then you began to see the, the buy-sell spreads on product. Almost everything that existed began to creep like this because this crazy demand started to occur for everything. Right? And maybe it was because of guys like me sitting in their, their offices looking to looking to spend money, I guess, uh, who didn't, weren't taking trips, who didn't have to buy suits anymore. And they were just going to go buy boxes of cards. And, you know, at the time when COVID hit, we all thought we might go bankrupt. And the exact opposite happened. Everything just went crazy. And the term alternate investment vehicle became something that every card store owner suddenly could say to people. Because suddenly... Michael Jordan tens, you know, went up 30 times in value. You know, these crazy things just started happening. And we all, all of us old timers just sat back and said, what is going on? And so while that's happening, I, I there's two workstations here in my office over my, over my left shoulder here. And uh, I would have a couple guys working with me who manage product with me. They'd be here every day and you'd just be raising prices every single day. Because the price to reacquire things was going up every single day. And I'd never seen anything like it. And it went for months and months and months. And all of us firmly believe that it, it you know, that we're somewhere, depending on who you speak to, Jeremy, either we're in the top of the ninth inning, and boy, we had a great run, right? Or we're still. And the very edge of what this hobby can be. 